it seemed like West Virginia, particularly Carter, had an answer late for kind of every run you make. Is that just the case of one team making the winning plays at the end of a game? A little bit of both. He's a heck of a player. Uh, he and West made some tough shots. Um, and whenever we either got a lead or were right there, they'd hit a what I thought, and I'll watch it closer on tape, some contested threes um, that cost us. I think we played well in stretches, and then I think there's some stretches where we um, we didn't play well, and it was just enough of those stretches to cost us, whether it was falling asleep on an out-of-bounds play or a couple of, you know, their pressure's impressive, and, and they're going to make you turn it over, but there's a couple turnovers we had that were unnecessary that led to baskets. So those things kind of took place, but when you have a player of the caliber of Carter, um, what he did was was pretty darn good, and um, he's physical, he's tough, and uh, you know he battled in there for a while, and we'll grow from it for sure. Yeah. Mike, Tony, Kyle missed his first six shots, and he just you know caught fire in the second half. Was it something different you were doing with him, or did he just need yeah, to start taking? I told him to make him. <laughs> so the second half, no, I, I said, listen, Kyle, you you know if you're not feeling it, take the good shot. You don't have to sh force it, but. I even said to him at halftime, I said, you know, you're kind of a hard one for me because we need you to be assertive and aggressive, but you got to you got to be sound with the ball and, and pick it up on the defensive end. And, you know, he's always a shot away from getting it going, and he's such a threat. Um, he got some pretty good looks in the first half. Maybe a couple were a little rushed, but then he got some real clean looks in the second half, and I thought the guys did a good job of finding him. Um, and, you know, Devin really had a heck of a game, kept us in there, Mom and he did. And, um, you know, we played – well enough to, to be in there and have a chance, but not well enough in those stretches to, to come away with a win in this setting against, you know, that kind of uh, intensity and pressure. Sam, what did you think of uh, Ty down the stretch there? Yeah, I thought Ty, um, you know, he found Kyle. He, he had a couple of those turnovers. I think one time he got stuck in a bad spot, but um, he made some good plays, found people, and a couple times he, um, you know, he, he caught, got in a little bit of trouble, did some good things. Um, and then had some trouble. I think it was kind of, like I said, good stretches of ball and some stuff that we're going to look at on tape and I think you know, we're going to want back. Because you know, when he's running that show out there against that pressure, it can wear on you and you just you got to be sound. you got to be sound. And, uh, and we were trying to get Kyle loose for a three, so he had to gamble a little bit. But again, some good and some things he can improve on for sure. We'll take one right here in the second row. Coach, uh, obviously you, know, you, you played ACC, you played some of the toughest arenas in the country. How does the Coliseum compare to some of those arenas? That's really good. Um, it's really good. It, it's a great college basketball atmosphere. I told Coach Huggins, and I, I wasn't trying to, you know, um, kiss up or anything. I just said it, it's it's an honor to play against him and his programs. We've had a, we've had a great series. His teams are tough. They're well coached. He's one of the best. And then you know you, you come into this arena, and I'd heard a lot about it. And uh, wasn't quite ready for the gunshot. They got, they got me, uh, surprised me on that one. They said it was going to be after the starting lineups, and I was talking to the guys, and boom, there it goes. But, but it's loud. Um, reminds me of U-Haul. I never coached in U-Haul, but a bigger version of U-Haul, or you know, I was in the Big Ten at Purdue, some of those settings. But uh, these people know good basketball. They've been treated to a heck of a coach and a heck of a program. So uh, a very good atmosphere and, and good for our young guys to be in. And we've got to grow up and learn from it because there's a lot of those in the ACC. A quick follow-up, okay. sorry. Is, is there any effort to uh, resume the series after this? Any yeah. effort? We played three years in a row. Um, we'll always consider that. I, you know, right now I, I don't think we're scheduled for next year, but we'll always be looking. And I don't know. We're going to 20 games in our conference, so we have to start thinking about that. I'm not sure if the Big 12 is. Ava. Tony, um, you talked about this being a game where you guys were good enough and maybe just needed a little something extra. How beneficial is, is that type of game maybe later on in the season, down the stretch, certainly in postseason, just you guys know kind of what that intensity feels like and, and what gear you yeah. need to be in? It's valuable. It really is. If we grow from it, um, you know, we could be in a lot of those tough settings and, and against talented teams. So um, I think the tape will reveal a lot. And we've got a we got such a willing group. This is one of the most willing teams I've coached, willing to do whatever it takes. So um, we will learn from it. But yeah, to be in these settings, that's why you play these non-conference games and series like this to to be in this and try to respond. You know, it's the first time we had been a little bit behind late in the game and. We responded for a while, and then they either hit a tough shot or we had a breakdown or we had a costly turnover. So I saw some pluses and minuses in those late-game situations, but you need to be in those and try to respond. Jerry, then Doug. Uh, how important was it that Devin kept you guys in it? Very yeah. important. Uh, is he giving you more than you even expected? He's playing very well. He's just strong. You know, you had two 
very seasoned veterans in Carter and Hall. I, those are guys that have played a lot of games and seen a lot of basketball. And I thought Devin was just, he was terrific. Uh, six assists, one turnover in that kind of game is impressive. Um, and I think you saw a little bit of the lack of experience of Kyle and Ty, though they've played some in that setting. And um, I thought Devin showed that. And I, and I actually thought Mamadi came in and gave us a lift too when we were, we didn't score, but but Devin was was very good, and uh, he's he's strung a few good games together for sure. Doug and then Sam. Are you looking at those first two names on the on the uh, score sheet? Uh, are you going to need a little bit more offense from your front court? Yeah, well, Mamadi gave us some. You know, Isaiah. He, I think he rolled his ankle and he was hobbling around. Um, and Jack, you know, some games just are good matchups. I, I you know, Isaiah and Jack aren't go-to guys that are going to score, but they've had some games where they've gotten on the glass. Um, and we couldn't, Zay had two offensive rebounds. We didn't get on the glass like we have. But um, I, I, yeah, I think opportunistically we need to find some things and, and get in there. And um, it wasn't there today, but you know, when Kyle got going and Devin and some of the guys were playing, we had to look to those guys for sure. And they're more, I guess, opportunistic scorers, but that will help for sure. We'll take one more from Jeff. West came in shooting, I think, 28% on threes. He was four for nine. Were those shots Given the statistics coming in, were those shots you can live with? I mean, we tried to, I think most, a couple of them were really contested. A couple, we had a, a little slip up, and that's all it takes that where he got too clean of a look. You know, I'm all right if we, if, if they're shooting hard contested shots. I don't know who hit the one off the top of the key. I mean, falling back, hand and face. For the most part, I thought we were set and ready, but it was just a few of those. When a guy gets a rhythm like Kyle got, you don't want to have him get clean looks. And so you're fighting to get those things. Coach Huggins ran a couple of good little actions to get some big shots. But uh, he's a guy, I can't remember last year, did he? Was it him? Yeah, was that, yeah I think he was. So I don't know, he sees the, the Virginia and he, he lights up, but he had a good game. And he's one of those stretch fours that can, can hurt you.